What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. If you're watching this on the replay in the future at some time other than April 11th at 1 p.m. Eastern, you're going to want to skip ahead to about the 10 minute mark or so, because in a minute we're going to do some interactive stuff, some giveaways, some things that you have to be here live for that won't be very much use to you if you are watching this on the replay, which leads me to my question for you. And that is, if you're watching this on a replay and not here live, what the hell's wrong with you? You should be here live because that's when you get to ask questions of our guests. Uh, you'll get to participate in giveaways and contests and all sorts of other fun stuff that you, where you can kind of interact with us. So what you're going to want to do is click the subscribe button and the notification bell. If you're on YouTube, if you're on Facebook or LinkedIn or Twitter or slash X and anywhere else, this might be do whatever it is you do there to make sure that you get notified because the best stuff happens live. So, uh, with that said, once we get some folks on, it, uh, please let me know how the picture and sound quality is so that I know that I'm not talking to myself because that's embarrassing when that happens. Yeah, you, you want to do that in private, not in public. Um, let's see. We got Lahiru says hi. Hello, hello Lahiru. Parip says, hey, Chris, good to see you again. Yash says, cool. I was excited for this session as the topic is outreach plus LinkedIn. Everything looks good. Thank you, Monari. Sounds clear. It's all good, man. All right. So let's go ahead and get the contest going so we can give away some merch. going to be probably a little bit of a thin turnout today because a lot of our uh, regulars are celebrating Eid Mubarak today. So uh, we will probably not have some of them, but that's okay. So we want streamyard.com slash giveaway all right let me go ahead and share my screen do, 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 do window to the wall all right we are here at the uh, legit merch store let me maximize that where you can see that we have updated the logo but not the favicon but hey we're getting there um and if you click on shop our gear what i'm going to be giving away in a moment is a piece of legit merch of the winner's choice. So it could be anything from, I just had somebody message me and say they got their backpack. So that's really cool. Uh, it could be a tote bag, a coffee cup, a t-shirt. Uh, I just had this t-shirt on last night, actually. Not that literal one. You won't get the one that I wear. You'll get one like it. Uh, a license plate, golf ball, whatever you want. And then we'll, in a minute, we're just going to put in a, uh, I'm going to give you a word to say, and you will type it in. And then after about five minutes, we'll choose a winner. And then we'll get into it. So uh, what we're going to do is come over here and select the right stream. So the and today's term is going to be LinkedIn. That's, I'm glad when it's an easy one for me to decide. So start collecting comments. And what you're going to want to do is type in the comment uh, in the comments or in the chat or whatever it is that you that it is where you are. Um, go ahead and type LinkedIn, and you will get entered in to win some legit merch. And while we're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and piss off some folks over on Facebook because I don't care. I need the attention. I'm going to do an at everyone, and that upsets people, but it's for their own good. So, everyone. Nafiz says, Id Mubarak, boss. Id Mubarak to you as well. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I don't want to be disrespectful. All right, there's that one. And then... There's that one. And I think I'm in one more Facebook group. And that one. Do, 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 do. Lots of people saying LinkedIn. All right. And then one more place. Everybody wants that legit merch. If you are in a Facebook group, and you show up like this, Facebook user, what you're going to need to do if you want your entry to count is go to 
StreamYard.com slash Facebook to authorize StreamYard so you can play along and so your name will show up. So just go to that and it'll uh, you'll be taken care of. All right, we're going to go to about 108. So we got about two minutes left, less than two minutes left. And then we're going to choose our winner. And then we're going to get into it because he's got a lot of great stuff for us. And the turnout is picking up. So that's good. I was a little worried about that with today being a holiday. So, but we got a somewhat decent turnout considering. And you are competing for a piece of legit merch. Now, at fair warning. If you are a gentleman and you get a piece of legit merch you and you wear it in public, the women will not be able to leave you alone. It's not your fault. It's just a, a, way, a way that it works. It just is – they can't help themselves. As you can see, even in this picture here, she wasn't one of the models for this. She actually just couldn't resist this guy wearing some legit merch. That's a, that's a There's nothing that I'm lying about right now. All of that is complete fact. Uh, hopefully no one actually believes that. All right, less than a minute remaining, and then we will choose our winner. Let's see how many entries we've got. 22 so far, so that's a pretty good ratio. <clears throat> At least Josh appreciates my joke. I do. <laughs> right, lots of folks saying LinkedIn, and we will choose our winner in just a few seconds when it hits 108. A couple people double dipping and saying it on Facebook and, and on YouTube, trying to uh, get an extra chance at that legit merch because they uh, want to uh, get the ladies attracted to them like my, my guy in the, the other picture. I kid, I kid, I kid. Less than a minute remaining. I don't know exactly because there are no seconds on the Windows 11 clock. Wouldn't be live stream without me complaining about that. We got you, Frankie. Relax. Hopefully somebody gets that reference. I'm not that old. All right, let's go ahead and choose our winner. For the love of God, please stop saying LinkedIn now. And the winner is Unique Q Videos. Um, congratulations, to you. I was going to try to pronounce that again, but I'll save us both the, the trouble of that. What you're going to do, my friend, is come over here to shop.legit.com. Choose the merchandise that you want. And then let me make sure I have this set up right. Whether it's a license plate, a hat, a t-shirt, whatever. Then you're going to come over to a legit proper and you're going to message support from this little bubble down here. Tell them that you won. Tell them what you would like. If it's a clothing item that requires a size, tell them your size. And then, and then tell them your mailing address, and they will get that right out to you. So congratulations to the winner. I'll take a screenshot of that just so we know. And then we will get into it. So let's do this. I no longer need to share my screen. All right, that, now that that's out of the way, let's get into it. Today, I am joined by special guest Lizian Rossini. Hopefully, I did okay with that. Uh, he has somebody that I met through Legit actually in 2021. What? Yes and no. He actually messaged me on LinkedIn after he signed up to Legit and asked me if I'd be interested in checking out his LinkedIn service. And I did. And that was in like I want to say April of 2021. And then since June of 2021, he has been 100% managing my LinkedIn account. If you've ever spoken to me on LinkedIn, other than on a live stream like this, 
it's probably been him, or at least he initiated the conversation. I've gotten in tremendous growth uh, in every way through LinkedIn through then. And he's also helped with uh, some other projects. And of course, the best part about having great guests like this is it means less work for me to do, which is really my goal with everything is to do is get as much with for as little effort as possible. So Lizian, how's it going? Hi, Chris, thank you very much for having you, uh, having me here. And I appreciate the fact that you uh, have proceeded with my service for so long and I've uh, done my best and also I've implemented some of the results on the presentation. Um, at least some of the, the posts and uh, things that need to be considered as a checklist or best practices for LinkedIn growth and LinkedIn uh, lead generation. Um, yeah, happy to be here. and. Um, I've also done a presentation, but I'm also happy to, uh, for Q&A or any other question you may have or the audience have. All right. So let's start with this is just tell us a little bit about, about yourself, your business, your origin story and stuff like that. Hmm. Um, I am from Albania, which is a small country in Europe near to Greece and Italy. Um, I have started to work in digital marketing for eight years now. Uh, I've been working in inbound and outbound marketing, especially starting with inbound um, and um, working especially with email marketing, uh, SEO, uh, social media, and also with um, uh, graphic design. Uh, um, but most recently, I've been working with lead generation and with marketing automation, uh, utilizing different tools in order to enhance growth for businesses, especially B2B. Um, and that can be done via LinkedIn, that can be done via uh, cold email outreach. There are different methodologies. Um, I try to use all of them. Um, uh, and I've been working as a marketing manager for a couple of companies. Uh, I'm working as a content manager in a, for a company that was in, in Ireland, another one that was in full-time in Manchester in um, uh, England, uh, and also for a couple of companies in the United States. Um, I have also offered my freelancing services uh, starting on Fiverr and uh, then I switched and I got to Legit, which um, obviously is better for the freelancer, of course, even for the for the client because uh, it's very vetted and I have happened to have very, very good clients, um, almost no uh, bad communication or bad experience at all. And it's been a very great experience so far. Wonderful. Thank you. Uh, thank you for sharing that. Um, now I have an important question. Do you have cats? I have. <laughs> Are you seeing my cat tree? <laughs> yeah. Do yeah. they use it? Yeah, they, they do. I have this one. I have another one in my bedroom. I have two cat trees and I have two cats. Yeah. Cause I've had cats <laughs> in the past and I would buy them stuff like that and they would use it for like one day. And then they would never do it again because as you know, they have a mind of their own, right? They, they, they will do. They do. <laughs> yeah. So they do. anyway, I saw that in the background. I also want to point out one other thing. Um, one time I was doing a, like a zoom call with Lizian and some other folks and uh, he was sitting at a different angle to where that bookcase was behind him. And he, uh, I asked about it and he said, yeah, I have, uh, I'm working on my PhD and I have all these books that I need for that. And I have them in the background of my video, you know, like, like you have, like you have with the toys. So basically he was saying is, oh. yeah, I'm working on my PhD and I have these books and Chris has toys. So uh, I just, I was, I was laughing at <laughs> about that. So, uh, all right. So I know you got a lot you want to cover. Do you want to go ahead and get into it? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Thank you. So uh, if you need, if you need the screen, there's a little ribbon at the bottom. You just click present and I'll take, I'll do sure. the rest. Okay. All right. So there you go. Okay. Oh, okay. We'll, we'll do that one then. Can, right. can you see my screen? Yep. How did you cold outreach on LinkedIn and LinkedIn growth? Yeah. Um, okay. I, I guess it is shown full in your. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Shown full. Cool. Um, yeah, <clears throat> this is a presentation, but I just did this one, so I'm going to skip it. Um, and I'd like to, to, uh, start via understanding a little bit about, um, inbound and outbound marketing. So this is just a minor service part of what is called uh, outbound marketing or also lead generation. And there is 
we know we both we uh, i mean all of us that are working in marketing know that we have inbound which is mostly about um making uh clients come to us but outbound is uh doing an extra effort and we actually going to the clients and knocking on their door so that's why outbound is mostly related with uh lead gen or lead generation and lead generation can be done via cold email cold calling uh, linkedin outreach or maybe it can be done uh via paid ads uh, it uh, it depends uh, on what kind of outreach we want to do. This is all part of lead generation. Um, in order to do um, outbound or to do lead generation, we're going to need to do some inbound stuff. Like, for example, we need to do some posts. We need to do some um, coverage uh, to optimize the LinkedIn profile. So uh, we will not have a successful outbound campaign or um, outreach campaign if we do not, um, for example, first step, optimize our LinkedIn profile. And this is a very um, a short checklist for optimization. So we need to make sure that we have a good cover photo, very nice uh, resolution, profile picture, the tagline talks about section, the about section, experience education section, the featured section, which should, should be deployed and integrated, the services section, which uh, offers opportunity for someone to offer their own services, like uh, when you want to use LinkedIn as, as a freelancing platform in some way. Um, and um, here I, I, I took the chance to, to get your LinkedIn profile as an example. And uh, you can see here that we have a very good profile picture, a cover photo. We have a tagline here mentioning uh, different um, uh, keywords. Like, for example, LinkedIn actually works for uh, SEO um, ranking. Like uh, when you want to publish something like this one, which is a newsletter, uh, I usually, when I publish uh, LinkedIn newsletters, there is an option in the settings where you can implement a SEO title and also SEO meta description, which is quite similar to what we usually do on blogs on, or on websites. And I have had, uh, uh, let's say, dozens of, of articles and LinkedIn newsletters which have actually ranked first uh, on the first page of Google. So uh, do not underestimate that section. Uh, and do not underestimate the, the fact that with your LinkedIn profile, you can implement different keywords and you may rank on the visibility on the LinkedIn search. And you have some sometimes notification by LinkedIn, which says that you uh, have been shown X amount of time this week. That's uh, when your profile optimization is working. It means that you have implemented the right keywords, the, the ones that are actually uh, being searched and so on. And that those keywords can be implemented on the about section, on the experiences, on the skills, which is this one. And when you endorse skills, uh, essentially those skills can also be mentioned or tagged within your experiences or education. So you have SEO, for example, you implement that in one of your latest experiences. And in that way, you showcase that you have actually learned this in this experience. Um, so these are a couple of things. Then uh, we are again within inbound here, uh, which we need to do LinkedIn posting routines. So someone in order to start to grow their LinkedIn profile and to get visibility, to get some credibility, because people may be interested in your offer, but they are not interested in who they're looking to. So who they are uh, actually their actual LinkedIn profile. So it might seem suspicious or it might seem like this person is not a professional because the, uh, it does not have engagement, does not have a very good uh, LinkedIn profile. So for that, uh, we need to publish at least one time per week, but I'd suggest yeah. three to five. Um, Chris, for example, published like 15, and it's not a problem. You, th there is no limit, so you can publish even 15 or even more. Um, but at least one per day or one per week would be, um, one per week would give us the opportunity to have some credibility. But three to five, it will help us in order to start some engagement with our um community there and there are different type of linkedin posts which you can use which have very good results actually which is the text only so no image at all opinionated posts which you actually publish something that um, it will uh, emerge into a discussion uh like white and wrong or something that people uh, i don't know are not all not all of the people it divides the audience not all of the people are okay with what you are saying um that triggers people to comment or to engage polls which also have a good mentality on LinkedIn and people usually engage with those. Video content, which is one of the 
best in terms of retention and um, engagement and also on conversion. And also the LinkedIn newsletters. I know that there is an option that you can publish LinkedIn articles, which is a very good way. But if you have a business or if you have um, like some kind of audience in your LinkedIn, like let's say 2000 connections or more, um, then you can start a LinkedIn newsletter. For for example, a Chris LinkedIn newsletter uh, started with zero to 4,000 subscribers in just a week or two. And it was very good, which basically whenever we publish something on, on Chris LinkedIn uh, newsletters, uh, those um, posts actually, which are which actually are articles, uh, will go directly to this uh, specific profile's email address. So it's not just um, uh, publishing and getting uh, visibility on LinkedIn, but also getting visibility on their inbox also, which is a win-win. Um, these are some different type of posts. Um, this is the uh, video. Um, this is the is a LinkedIn newsletter. This one is a poll. This one is a text-based only, and this one also text-based only, which is opinionated posts. Um, it triggers some engagement, like this one, for example, 12 comments and people actually commenting on those. And also um, photo uh, or screenshots or maybe creating like a nice design and ask, uh, asking for people uh, opinions or on things or um, trying for them to comment on, on your posts. Um, now we go to LinkedIn engagement habits. And again, here we are trying to um, update and to engage with our LinkedIn profile. This can be either in your own LinkedIn posts or it can be on your on other people's LinkedIn uh, profiles, like top voices or influencers. There are two categories actually that we need to target here. And the strategies that we can use is we actually go to their, let, let's create a, a spreadsheet with um, let's say 10 most, prominent influencers on LinkedIn in your field, and also 10 uh, top voices on LinkedIn in your field. You have all these 20 profiles and you have them all there and you just click on their link and you go and check every day, like let's say 20 minutes per day, uh, you check all their profiles and see if they have posted something recently and see their comments and you like their posts, you are, are actually viewing their profile. If you did, you can endorse their skills. But also the most crucial thing is to engage if they are top voices, you engage with them. But if they are influencers, don't engage with um, Justin Wells, for example, or someone else. Um, you are going to need to engage with actually with people that are commenting on their on this influencer post. And on that way, we are inviting these people to um, communicate with us, to engage with us, and we can later on mention them in our own LinkedIn posts, which will trigger our impressions. Um, and it will trigger our post engagement. Um, these are a couple of um, examples from Chris' profile. So as you can see here, this is Chris on post. So this is a text based only. Uh, someone has commented, Chris replying there. And actually this conversation can be extend, extended some at some time. It shouldn't be uh, the length of the content can be, um, it depends on, on the topic, but uh, it's a good way for them to re-engage with you. And, Later on, for a couple of days or maybe a week or two, you can actually connect with them via a personal DM, which can help you. If they are in your target audience, can help you to navigate easily through your offer. Um, this one, for example, is um, these are top voices or uh, influence. These are top voices. Uh, and uh, actually, Chris, uh, or in this case, me, <laughs> um, commenting on these other people posts, which would help us get engagement like this one here, which people has, have replied back or has engaged with, with the, the comment. And uh, usually they, uh, for example, this is a recent one. I haven't even sent the invitation, but sometimes I wait because I want for them to come to us and to send us an invitation, uh, which is this case, for example. And, um, in, and we will get going from there. Um, LinkedIn outreach strategies. So we need to position ourselves. So we need to know uh, what is the approach that we want to to have on LinkedIn in, uh, in order to start the, the outreach. And there is the personalized approach. Uh, there is the thought leader approach, the referral connection, the event networking, the value giver, and the follow-up specialist. Um, there is some content here for you to, to actually check, but I don't think we have time to walk everything. But how it can be done, like, for example, I... 
I talked just one, I got just one sentence for each, like for example, personalized approach. I noticed your passion for shared interest and was generally impressed and then go on with, uh, with the conversation. The thought leader, for example, I res recently wrote an article titled X and that you might find intriguing uh, or the referral connection. Um, Chris mentioned that you are an expert in SEO, for example, uh, the abandoned worker, the value giver, the follow up, follow up specialist. So all of these are um, methodologies that can be used and you can position yourself on how you want to actually um, um, engage and to outreach people. So you need to know uh, beforehand, uh, uh, before starting the actual uh, uh, outreach. So you need to know your target audience. You need to know your messaging. You need to know your CTA, your value, your um, MVP, and everything that you usually use for your business in order to target your audience. You need to do that exactly the same on LinkedIn, even though with different methodologies or tools. Let's go to what most people are interested, which is LinkedIn growth and outreach. So all of this in the beginning have helped us in order to create a good LinkedIn profile, engage, um, grow our profile. But now we want to actually outreach to these people. And actually, we have first we have three different uh, connections on LinkedIn, which all of them are called connections uh, for some way, for some reason. Which we have first degree connections, which are actually those that we call connections, people that have accepted our invitation. There are second degree connections which there is someone that we um, that we know or we know from someone else. So it is in our range of uh, knowledgeable people within LinkedIn. So LinkedIn recognizes this person as someone that is your friend's friend or someone co-worker or something like that. And um, it is um, easier for us to outreach to this second degree connection. And then we have the third degree connection. I would suggest that you you use only second degree connections. There is a lot of opportunity with second degree connections that can go up to um, thousands or uh, hundreds of thousands people. So uh, there are many people there which you can in, enlarge your, your community. Um, tools that I have usually used for LinkedIn um, outreach, it is Wallaxy, Dripify, Octopus, CRM, Lead Delta, but there are many more. Also, for example, Apollo can be used for, for outreach, uh, TechSau or Phantom Buster, but uh, we need to differentiate the type of uh, outreach that we're going to do. There is an outreach that we can do to first degree connections, like re-engage to those that you are actually a connection with. And also uh, you need to, to expand your network. So at the same time, you grow your network, but also... Uh, send to them an offer. And those are second degree connections. And the best tools to do that is Wallaxy and Dripify. Um, and in order to do that, there are some steps. And I think I have, yeah, I have created here uh, all the steps that you need to use. So um, everybody after this uh, presentation can, um, they can rewatch this, this presentation and they would be able to use these tools or um, uh, they will have some information on how to get started with LinkedIn outreach. So uh, the workflow that I usually uh, use is using LinkedIn Sales Navigator. If someone has a LinkedIn Sales Navigator, it can be done without <laughs> LinkedIn Sales. Um, but with LinkedIn Sales Navigator, we have a bunch of more filters. So there, there are many more filters that can we can actually target the audience the way that we need it to do. So it will have better results. Then we can transfer the prospect list into the outreach tool. So we can create lists on LinkedIn Sales Navigator based on some search parameters and then create this list and upload this list on the outreach tool, which can be Wallaxy or Dripify. Then we can develop a, a campaign sequence in the outreach tool based on client preferences. Like for example, a client wants just to grow their profile or a client wants to sell a product or a client wants to book a call with their prospects. And based on their... Um, actual um, actual objective, you need to create your campaign sequence. Um, when you create your campaign sequence, you need to engage with them first. So people will get an invitation for um, to connect, but they are not sure who you are. They, you haven't even actually connected with them before or engaged with them before. That's why I usually suggest to when you create the outreach sequence, you need to do an auto visit 
So automatically you impl implement or import this list on the outreach tool, and then you configure and you, you implement this into the sequence. And when you create the sequence, you, for example, um, create rules and parameters that uh, someone needs to, to be, we need to visit their profile first, and that can be done automatically by the tool. Uh, one day after we can um, like their posts, and the day after we send an invitation. And only when the invitation is accepted, then they get uh, two hours later or maybe the next day, a follow-up message, which says, thank you for accepting my invitation. And then you start with the conversation. And if they do not respond to you, then you endorse their skills. So in some way, you are reminding them, I'm here. I'm actually following you. You can like their post automatically. Everything can be automatically. But uh, please go back to my message because... I'm actually trying to engage with you. It's not just I'm trying just to sell you, sell you something. So that is a automation uh, with personalization at the same time. And whenever you craft your messages, start implementing personalization metrics like or <coughs> tags. Like for example, their first name, their company, and other um, uh, elements. Uh, then you need to configure your smart inbox feature. Uh, there are different tools. Like one of the best is Lead Delta. Um, it can be used such like a mini CRM and you can actually uh, implement there like hot leads, warm leads and so on. And you can categorize all of your um, conversations based on different stages of the deal and um, or, or the prospect, sorry. And in this case, if you want, you can bulk message them. You can send them a reminder. Like for example, you have an event coming up and you can send to them a reminder that I have this event uh, you can come or um, it depends on what would be the objective. Um, so that would be it. And then this is a whole process of what I just explained, automating your business from LinkedIn, which is actually automating the outreach, auto-connect and message your prospects. It can be done via different uh, resources. You can create a sequence or you can use just one element. Like, for example, you want to, you have a group or a list of people you, which you have um, uh, in your LinkedIn sales navigator, you just implement that list and you message to only those people, uh, like first degree connection. Uh, so it's not just for um, um, growing your profile, but it, it is also a methodology to grow your profile and at the same time outreaching and at the same time re-engaging with these tools. Um, then I'd say here, one of the elements which is very essential is to use properly the prospect filters. Like when you do the LinkedIn search, that can be done, as I told you on, as I explained on the LinkedIn search filter, which is the usual one, but it has many limitations. The best one is LinkedIn Sales Navigator. And this is the keyword that I would use. I would suggest you to be um, focused on the Boolean search. So you, whenever you want to exclude someone on your search, like for example, uh, you want to target growth hackers. But if you click growth, growth hacker, um, you will have growth hackers and maybe an actual hacker. And you don't want an actual hacker, <laughs> which is not in your target audience. And in this case, you do growth hacker and not hacker. So note would be capitalized. And in this case, we exclude uh, when it's just hacker. And in this case, you are actually narrowing down your target audience. And you can use or, you can use and, you can use not, and so on. Um, then these are all the filters that we can use. It's pretty much the same on uh, when we do uh, paid ads, when we do cold email outreach or email marketing, whatever, it's, it's the same thing. Uh, cold outreach done effectively is the, what I explained. So you um, your prospect sees your uh, you first visited their profile. I'm, I'm actually uh, creating this and showing to you how they will per perceive us. Then your prospect gets a connection request. Your prospect prospect gets an, in, an endorsement or you like, uh, or their post is getting liked. Uh, then your prospect receives a warm direct message. And then we do follow up with sales calls and direct campaigns. Um, this is a LinkedIn growth um, and lead generation cycle from day one to 30 or 31. Uh, with these tools, we can send the, usually you can send up to 100 invitation to second degree connections per week. So 400 per month but with tools like Wallaxy or dripify you can go from 200 to 700 per week which is a huge deal we are bypassing actually the invitation limits from 100 to 700 it's 7x more and in this case uh, is that safe you 
ask yes it is perfectly safe if you safe if you go to the to your linkedin um profile and you go to the um to the audience section and there you have um uh, import list and and in the import list you can import your emails i mean your database of emails from your gmail account or outlook or whatever and when those people those email match with different people in this case you can send an invitation to them um it is it is considered a usual invitation but but an invitation from to someone that you know actually because you have their linkedin profile in this case it means that you are you can send 100 invitations and a lot more you can send let's say 700 more with uh by having their email address and that's where tools like Wallaxy or Dripify come into hand because they do this process automatically. You just uh, select the list in LinkedIn Sales Navigator, up upload the list, and they find the, their um, email address, which is associated with the LinkedIn automatically. And they send the invitation as you are actually doing that within your own LinkedIn as an imported list. And in this case, you can even send with the outreach tool let's say 500 and you have the opportunity to use the 100 that you are usually sending um, for your engagement purposes, which is can be another campaign. Um, so you can build uh, build up email lists and then you can deploy this list in your CRM like HubSpot, Pipedrive, Zoho uh, or Salesforce. All of these tools have, uh, most of these tools have these options. And then a smart inbox. Dripify and Wallaxy for an additional payment have the smart inbox, but also you have another tool that you can actually used like lead delta which is just a smart inbox like a mini crm for your um direct messages on linkedin now there is another service that i recommend for you to use so all of what i explained in second stage was um linkedin automation or linkedin outreach through automation but there is actually another usage with other tools like TechSaw or Phantom Buster, which are actually one, some of the most powerful marketing automation tools in, uh, in the world. And with these tools, we can actually create campaigns um, and also omni-channel campaigns, like for example, connecting your users from Facebook to uh, X to LinkedIn, Instagram, uh, their email, their website. So it gets crazy if we use these tools, but we are, I have just a, a methodology for you, which is very simple. And uh, even someone with no experience at all can use this. For example, you can use TechSaw or Phantom Buster, uh, log, log in there, and then you can create a campaign just for LinkedIn. Do not mess around with the Omni channel because you need to have some experience for that. And then you can create a campaign, which is perfectly the same way as the, um, the one that I explained with Wallaxy or Dripify, which is the outreach tool, uh, which... By the way, also TechSour Phantom Buzz can be used for outreach, but I would, would not suggest that for this case. I would suggest um, using these tools actually for re reactivating uh, and re-engaging with your first degree connection. You may have thousands of connections there piling up and uh, actually not making use of them. And what you can do here, you can actually send 150 messages per day and sometimes even up to 250 if you have a LinkedIn sales navigator. And you can send um, 250 messages per day to your first degree connections, which you haven't engaged in so in any way for a couple of years. And now you can re-engage. Like, for example, you can say, uh, I've just created a uh, LinkedIn newsletter. Uh, it's I talk about this and I'd like to have your opinion about it. And just plainly trying to re-engage with them. Or maybe I have a new event coming up and I thought maybe I'd ping you here and you'd be interested. And I have very good results with that. I've worked for a company in Manchester and our target audience was um, uh, companies, B2Bs, businesses, um, small small and medium businesses on Manchester. And I've used only LinkedIn and only this feature. And I've tried and I've also, I, I, I've gotten up to 30 people on a live event so those people actually said yes on linkedin they uh connected with us they said yes on the messages by using tools like lead delta and staying on top of the messages sending notification to them one day or two days uh, before the event actually coming up and they actually came to the event and these have had very um in, uh, tremendous growth for 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 the company um 
of course, there are many aspects that you need to implement. And again, you need to implement a seamlessly campaign that will actually make them engage because it seems personal to them. Like you do an auto view, you do an auto endorsement, auto likes, and then you tailor the re-engagement sequence and start the campaign. But you need to, um, for these tools like Phantom Buster or Texao, uh, you need to actually, it's, it's the same like when you do campaigns or trip campaigns on email uh, marketing. You need to test them out because sometimes it doesn't work or um, the, the the message is not very clear or, or it, it gets some bug. So um, different from Dripify or, um, uh, or Wallaxy where you can actually create the campaigns and those are uh, straightforward and very easy and uh, almost no uh, um, almost no um, no problem at all with uh, actually activating the campaigns. Here you may have some problems, so you need to test them out and also monitor the campaigns, optimize them, and also implement A/B testing on Wallaxy and also on Texao or Phantom Bus, so depending on the marketing automation or the marketing outreach tool. We have two different tools here. And the last thing that I suggest is to increase conversion by implementing cold email outreach. So uh, tools like Wallaxy, for example, or Texao, you can actually do an omni-channel campaign. Like, for example, you can send the invitation, they accept the invitation, you do the view, the endorsement, and so on. They um, comment back or they don't. If they don't, then you you have their email address. That's why we send the, them the invitation. So with Wallaxy, for example, we can automatically send them a, an email. So a direct message through, through their inbox. Um, and we can change the messaging there. And we can say, I connected with you on LinkedIn. I don't know if you had the chance to ch check that out, but I'm, I'm trying to um, reconnect here also on your inbox and blah, blah, blah. But in this case, you are actually using two tools and starting an omnichannel campaign. Uh, but that would be for another time because um, implementing cold email outreach um, uh, as a lead generation uh, process uh, is actually another topic that it needs uh, maybe another webinar. So if, um, if Chris will help me, uh, I can uh, most definitely do that uh, uh, at another time, of course. So uh, that was my uh, presentation. Uh, thank you very much for, for having, you, uh, having me here. And if you have any questions or uh, if I may help you with anything, just let me know. Uh, you have you can scan here my LinkedIn profile. You have me on Facebook. I'm on Legit. Um, and um, yeah, email, phone number, so on. It's pretty bold of you to give your phone number on a live <clears throat> on a live stream. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you for that. That was in very in depth and very informative. Uh, and just excellent. I don't, I don't even know what else to say. We got a few questions that we'll take. So okay. let me just make sure I don't miss any. Uh, do, do, do. Josh, uh, do, be your friend. Do, do I need to stop sharing? Uh, no, it's fine. Okay. All right. Give me just a second to scroll through all the LinkedIn's. Just want to make sure I didn't miss any. If you have any more questions, go ahead and drop them. And also let uh, Lissian know if you uh, if you enjoyed that, if you got any value out of it, if you're going to do anything with it, and so on. Um, just message legit support, and they'll clear it up for you. Dan says, "How do you? How would you? Excuse me. See using this service for say a concrete batch plant? I want to crest." connects, I guess, create connects to contractors, construction companies, and developers, for example? Mm -hmm. um, I have actually utilized this for B2B, so business to business, and um, it can be also utilized for business B2C to, for uh, purchasing or to uh, sell products. Uh, it's <laughs> a very good utilization. I haven't had the chance to actually use this on construction. I have actually consulted a company to use this on um, for construction, but I, I am not sure uh, about the results. So um, um, I, I don't have experience on that industry to actually say that it will work 100%, but I would say that it's worth trying. And um, 
um, for example, do these people need to like get um, quota or to get uh, business from LinkedIn? Like, uh, is is it the, the 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 objective is B2B? Do they need to sell to another business or to another person? I'm not quite understanding. Okay, yeah, Dan, if you're still on, can you just clarify a little bit and he'll get you a more in depth. Answer. But if 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 it's if it's a business, yes, it can be used definitely. Uh, we can use the same. Uh, you can use the same. Um, uh, strategy. Um, you can target uh, your audience. You need to create a persona. You need to create um, filter parameters, uh, implement them on LinkedIn sales or just a, uh, a simple LinkedIn search. Uh, find, um, actually, go through the list. Don't Im import what comes there. You need to actually work with the list. That needs some time and sometimes it needs more time than actually doing everything else. So if you are patient and you want to invest on filtering your list, then just start to implement that list and create the campaign. And uh, you know best how your audience will react because you know how to sell to your audience. I I can't say for sure what will work for your audience, but since you are in the industry and you have used, for example, email marketing or you have used paid ads or another marketing methodology, um, use uh, the same um, messaging or something similar that and also use the best practices that I, I suggested for, for LinkedIn. Um, it's worth trying, uh, but again, I need some more context. Wonderful. Uh, Jay, hey, what's up, Jason? And Jason says LinkedIn newsletters are strong. Previous slide, please. Uh, it's too late to really know what slide you meant. Uh, Kamar says, do you have any chat GPT prompts for crafting engaging posts for LinkedIn? Do you use AI yeah. at all or do you do everything manually? I would suggest to, um, it depends on, again, there is an option on ChatGPT4 that you can create um, uh, users and you can create, uh, let's say, avatars or personas. And like, for example, I have a ChatGPT for my PhD, which is the PhD assistant. I have ChatGPT for a client or I have ChatGPT for writing um, 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 <clears throat> a click funnels. And so on. So you can create and customize your own chat GPT. So um, using the 3.5, it's very limited. But if you use the custom chat chat GPTs, you have unlimited, um, you have many more opportunities. And yes, I have used it, especially for creating and crafting the sequence uh, copy. But for posts, I suggest that if you want to do that, you need to create custom GPTs. Like for example, uh, you can send to, to your um, client uh, a questionnaire with personal questions in order to understand their tone of voice and also get some, some of their writing style. So they have probably published something before, they have probably published a post or published a blog and you understand what's their writing style. You implement that in the, into the custom ChatGPT and you create, uh, let's say, uh, Chris um, custom GPT. And that the ChatGPT will write in their tone of voice. Uh, but I would strongly suggest that you go through the content. You can use that. Um, you, you can use that, uh, but you, you need to go through through it in order to to, to see if it's, it's reliable. Um, yeah. Uh, personally, I use it, but it depends on uh, on the client. For example, for Chris, I, I don't because it's uh, most of, of uh, Chris' tone of voice is very unique and you need to, even if I use it, I need to reshape it uh, entirely. Right. <clears throat> uh, Fizz Digital, there's your free plug, says, are LinkedIn's new limits making outreach more difficult? Right. That's why um, with LinkedIn, if you use just LinkedIn limits with traditional outreach, like, for example, creating this list on LinkedIn Sales Navigator and just sending invitations uh, via the, the usual invite, per connect, which would limit you to 100 per week. Um, that would be it, that's the limitation. And also 150 messages. But if you have LinkedIn Sales Navigator, you can send 250, not just 150 messages per day. Also, <coughs> uh, if you use tools like Wallaxy or Dripify, or if you import your contacts, uh, emails, email contacts on, on your database, on your LinkedIn, uh, you can actually send more than 100. That's what I explained through the presentation. You can send, um, I would suggest to send 200 
for for Chris, for example, we uh, we are sending two hundred, but uh, you you can even send with Dripify seven hundred per week, which is seven x more. So there is a way around, um, but you need to to know the rules and you know you need to actually um, stay on top of it. Like for example, you can use Texal for a reactivation campaign, and you are, you are sending some messages there. You are uh, doing some invitations there. You can even send those 100 invitations via Texal or Phantom Buster. But uh, at the same time, you're using Galaxy, and those tools are not connected. You may get banned for that because you are sending too many invitations. It looks suspicious, and you can you can actually harm your profile. So you need to be aware of that. Wonderful. And that was done because some people got went and got way too aggressive with it. Uh, anybody that has LinkedIn knows that you're going to get hammered with messages anyway. So they did that to kind of pull back on that some because they were getting a bad reputation. Yeah, that's that's another problem also. So if yeah, you, you are spamming people and you need to be very careful on tailoring the message. So you don't need to don't start with the offer right uh, in the beginning with uh, with the hello message. You just say, thank you for accepting my invitation. I am Chris, I do this, and just a nice uh, introduction, but do not enter or do not implement links there. On the first message, do not implement links. Like for example, this is my um, landing page or so on. That's a spam. All right. Uh, Dan, and this is the one that was asking about the concrete before. <laughs> Thanks. I plan to use LinkedIn to make the connections for the batch plant. Okay. Uh, I don't know what a batch plant is, so I can't. Yeah, really... I don't. I uh, sorry about that. I I'm not knowledgeable about that. Yeah, me neither. Uh, Fizz Digital says, "Cool, thank you." Which is better, Wallaxy or Dripify? Um, it depends. If you want to stay safe. Uh, play by the rules and do, don't want to go hard with that. Uh, use Wallaxy. The the invitation limit is 200, from 100 to 200 per week. And also, it has a simple um, process, which is visit profile, uh, send invitation, and send as many as you like uh, follow-up messages. And if you want, you can even implement uh, cold email outreach. So implement your email and, and follow up with emails. Or start with email. It depends what what your campaign will look like. But with Dripify, you can extend that to even more. You can implement um, auto likes, auto endorsement. With Texao, for example, you can extend even more. You can do auto comments. You can um, you can also um, uh, send messages to groups, to people who you aren't even connected to. You can send uh, messages to LinkedIn event subscribers. So with Texal, there are even more options, but that's for automation purposes. And it's even more complex. You need to understand the, the automation of the campaigns. So I would uh, suggest to read a little bit before using uh, Phantom Buster or Texal. But between Dripify and Wallaxy, you can use both. Both, both of them are great. Uh, just Dripify has also included the smart inbox uh, within the same price that usually Wallaxy offers just uh, the outreach campaign. And for so Wallaxy is uh, pricier than Dripify, and Dripify has even more features. But I would say uh, Wallaxy plays safe. All right. And he also asks are these better or more professional than WeConnect? Um, I, I think, I, again, Every, every tool has their own advantages and disadvantages. There are many other tools, like Octopus CRM, um, uh, Woza, or, for example, um, there was a tool on AppSumo, uh, Closely, uh, which was very good. So it depends on how you craft your campaign. So I would not lower one and uh, say that one of those is the best. Uh, it depends on what you want to do. So, yeah. Okay. Connected, for example, is a great tool to do outreach. All right. I, I use this. I explained this once because I have used this once. It's not that these are the best. For me, they are, but <laughs> not essentially. You probably shouldn't focus too much on the tools anyway, right? It's yeah. more about the strategy. Right. Oh, and we got a spammer. So give me one second here. 
Okay. I don't want anybody clicking on uh, on that link. I'll have to find it. All right, well, I'll have to find it later. <clears throat> All right, we're almost out of time. We got about five minutes left. So if there are any more questions for Lizian, uh, please let me know. Um, if you're just tuning in again, what the hell's wrong with you? We've been here almost an hour and you missed the best part. But the good news is you'll be able to go back and watch it again. Uh, but I'm here with Lucien Rossiani, who did a great presentation for us on LinkedIn outreach and LinkedIn growth. Uh, you can find him on legit at linked copy and then the other information on the screen as well. Uh, we have a couple minutes left to take any more questions. But while we're waiting on that, uh, well, here we go. Uh, concrete batch plant manufacturers ready mix concrete by mixing materials and then delivers they deliver that to contractors they have the ability to create custom mixes which is why oh. the connects will be of interest yeah that's um now i understand what what you are saying and perfectly you can use that you can use linkedin outreach you can use Texal. you can use different tools um but most essentially you can create a strategy uh in order to do a a LinkedIn growth and LinkedIn outreach for uh, this type of audience. Because uh, when you have someone that actually is bringing business to you and they uh, are currently doing uh, most of the job for you, that's a um, a good way to get started with, with LinkedIn or cold email outreach. I suggest that you need to actually uh, do a market research and see what is working in your industry. Like, for example, you may be on air conditioners. And for air conditioners, when I did a market research, which was on New Jersey, um, usually what works was the uh, programmatic uh, advertisement. So actually people, not just Google ads, but pro programmatic advertisement, because people usually uh, read a lot of blogs, uh, technical blogs about things, about air conditioners. And when they read something about it and they had a banner there that, you want to sell a air conditioner or a service or an electrification service, it was it had the best conversion, even better than uh, Facebook ads. So it always depends on the industry. So you need to do a in-depth research in order to um, actually know where your audience is actually living and what they are searching. For example, if we use Apollo, Apollo has a very, Apollo or Zoom Info, they have a very good um very good search intent uh, filter. Like for example, whenever someone is actually typing about concrete materials, or I don't know what is your specific care keyword, um, let's say LinkedIn outreach, whenever someone is typing about LinkedIn outreach, they get a notification. And that specific contact, which it has an email on Apollo, it can be redirected to your email sequence. So you implement that and you send a message to them. So they are actually uh, searching on Google about your topic and you are emailing to them. So as you understand here, there is a way higher opportunity for you to convert there. So yeah, again, you need to use the tools, but tools um, don't have any value um, if you do not have a strategy, if you don't have a persona, target audience, or you haven't done a market research. So that's the first thing to do. Wonderful, thank you. All right, we are pretty much out of time. Any uh, Anything else you want to cover or talk about or say before we wrap up? Um, thank you very much, Chris, for having you uh, having me here. Um, very, um, I'm very honored to uh, actually get to know you and to see how you do business. You are an amazing person and uh, not just a, a businessman, but also um, actually getting to um, people's level and to uh, helping everyone. I've noticed uh, through the comments, through all the live sessions that you uh, have done. So uh, thank you about that. Yep. Thank you. Thank you for saying that. Uh, people can find you on legit at linked copy. Uh, let me bring that up on the screen because I haven't brought legit on the screen the whole stream. Shame. This is it. We got to get you a cover photo. Oh, <laughs> uh, but he's got a couple of content services and then the LinkedIn service. And just to show that I'm not full of shit about this anyway, um, I've been using the service for I've spent $31,000 on it and we're on month 34. So that's almost three years that we've been doing this. And I used a bunch of other services from him as well. So I like to show stuff like that to show that 
you know, that I'm telling the truth and not just trying to be a hype man, which I'm perfectly capable of when the situation calls for it. So anyway, uh, that's, that's that. Let's uh, say let's thank you to uh, Lizian for showing up pro or for uh, joining us today. Uh, programming notes uh, next week on the 18th, which is a week from today. I have Matt Zimmerman, the uh, the founder and developer of Zimwriter. He's a great guy. That'll be a lot of fun. And then on the 23rd, which is the following Tuesday, I have Umar Faizan. And then on the 25th, we have Mads Singers coming up. And then we are caught up. So I'll have to start getting some more folks lined up. So uh, still some great things coming up. If you are if you enjoyed this, please do me a favor and subscribe. Uh, click the subscribe button. I'm told that if I say that, that more people will subscribe. I've never seen any, any evidence to support it, but it is what it is. Uh, thank you again for joining us today. Check him thank out you. on Legit at Link Copy or Legit.com slash Link Copy. And... Uh, Thank you to everybody that showed up today. Um, you know, you could have been anywhere else in the world, but you took the time out of your day to spend it here with us. I'll always appreciate that and never take it for granted. So thank you. And last but not least, figure out which one of the life and go out and get it because you owe it to yourself. You owe it to the world. I'll see you next week. Peace.